Are you the parent of a middle school or high school student? If you are, then this is for you. I first set out to do research to see if there was a link between cannabis use and mental illness, and I really learned a lot. Um, but the answer is not so simple. Um, I was intrigued by this topic originally because I myself struggled with many um, forms of addiction. I started early on with a food disorder. I, I overate and um, developed um, obesity. I was almost 300 pounds and so I was trying to fill some kind of a void and then in high school um, I had tried marijuana briefly um, but didn't use it for several years and then as an adult I started using it again because I um, had gastric bypass and lost a lot of the weight that I had gained throughout my early childhood um, got up to about 300 pounds but wanted to do something about that but I didn't have an outlet or a way of I felt like I didn't have a way of coping um, with the absence of food for comfort and so like I said I started using cannabis on a more frequent basis and you feel a lot of effects uh, during the use, like paranoia, uh, depression, so many other things, um, increased heart rate, um, but mainly uh, would go away after use. And so I'll have to show you my findings. Let me turn this around. So this is my slideshow. Is there a connection between marijuana use and mental illness? Let's find out. So, the consequences of marijuana use, so when you first try it, of course, you have impaired judgment and attention, coordination and balance, you get anxiety and paranoia, but all this typically wears off. But the longer that you use it and the more frequent, you have delayed responses in learning and coordination, uh, sleep problems, eventually you can, long-term effects, you can develop an addiction to cannabis. Um, you can have a loss of IQ, especially in those who started using heavily um, as teenagers. And um, health risks, of course, developing chronic cough and bronchitis. But I found that you can develop um, schizophrenia, but it's mostly if it's already existent in your family history. Um, no, more factors include the amount of the drug use, the age at first use, if you see here. Recent studies show that there's an increase in marijuana uh, consumption in 8th um, graders through high schoolers, especially in high schoolers. And But, but what I found, though, there's no direct link to cannabis use and mental illness. There has to be existence of other factors in order for you to be able to link them, which is family history. And then there's also genes that put you at risk of psychosis. So it's so important to educate our kids on substance use and the long-term effect on the brain because it could, if you use it as a child, it could potentially um, cause risk <coughs> of developing mental disorders um, because your brain's still developing. So, so important to educate your children because they're gonna do, they're gonna do, there's gonna be people pressuring them. And so, you know, most likely at some point in their life, they're probably going to try 
this, but it's just so important because I, I see every day at, at my job, I work actually in a mental hospital, um, people that have addiction to marijuana, to, to other substances, meth, and um, it can really take you down a really dark path of, of mental illness and I just wouldn't want to see our our future generation um, suffering from this as much as our generation is. And so in conclusion, um, I thank you and I just really, really stress that you educate your children. Have a good day.